What's shaking fire nation? JLD here and welcome to episode 1912 of EO Fire. Where I chat with entrepreneurs on fire seven days a week. Productivity, discipline, focus. Those are my three greatest strengths and they can be yours too. Visit themasteryjournal.com and master all three skills in 100 days. Now let's chat with today's featured guest, Chandler Bolt. Chandler, are you prepared to ignite? Yes, sir. Let's do it. (laughs) Chandler is the host of the Self-Publishing School podcast and author of six books, including his most recent book titled published. He's also the founder of Self Publishing School, the number one online resource for writing your first book. Chandler, take a minute, fill in some gaps from that intro and give us just a little glimpse of your personal life. Yeah, so I live in San Francisco now. I'm from a small town in the middle of nowhere, uh, South Carolina called Valhalla. <laughs> I'm a college dropout and a C-level English student. Uh, and somehow, despite all that, I ended up writing a few books. Uh, so that's kind of my backstory. Now, as you mentioned, uh, John, I run a company called Self Publishing School. Uh, we've had, gosh, about 3,500 students wow. go through the program at this point. There's a book published pretty much every single day by a, a self publishing school student. So I really enjoy uh, helping people change their life by writing and publishing a book. So I love that you threw in there that you are a C level English student because I think a lot of people feel like they have to be a PhD in English or something before they actually write a book. And the exact opposite is true, Fire Nation. You just need a voice, a message, a mission, an idea, and you can share it with the world and it can inspire one person, 10 people, 100 people, who knows, maybe thousands someday. And it all comes from that one idea, not because you have a PhD in English, but because you want to add value to this world. And now, if you recognize Chandler's voice, I mean, let's be honest, he's around. And he was episode 888, pretty cool number. He was also episode 1755. And now, of course, he's episode 1912. So if you want to hear his backstory, he rocks the mic there, an 888. Go check it out, eofire.com. But what I want to talk about right now, Chandler, because we have a lot of things that are going on in this world right now. The online world, it can be exciting, but it can be terrifying. And I think a lot of people just get overwhelmed with like, what should I be doing? Like, should I be on social media? Should I be launching a podcast? Should I be doing a video show? Should I, you know, be trying to get on Facebook Live every single day? There's just so much going on. Why does writing a book make sense to you? Oh, that's a great question. And for a lot of people, they, they think books and they're like, like Snorfest, right? <laughs> like I've, I, this is not new, Chandler. <laughs> uh, you know, why do I need to write a book? Uh, and that sounds like a long process. And oh, by the way, I heard books don't make money. Like quite frankly, because there's all these misconceptions about uh, writing books. So the reason I like books is for a few reasons. Number one, uh, books drive a ton of leads for me. So I, my books have driven thousands of leads and hundreds of thousands of dollars in business. I am able to just channel those leads right off of Amazon, uh, which is an ecosystem of over it's hundreds of millions of buyers on the platform. So I always say that Google is a search engine of browsers. Amazon is a search engine of buyers. <laughs> so while everyone else is focused on Google SEO, I'm over on Amazon where it's way easier to rank. It's way less competitive and they're all buyers. They all have their credit card attached to their account. So those type of people are way more qualified and, and they're, you know, they have, they've helped me grow my business tremendously. On top of that, books obviously increase your credibility. They increase uh, your conversions, things like that. I mean, if you look at pretty much anyone who has a successful business, especially in this space, they have a book. Uh, and it just opens doors. Like it's kind of a cheesy example, but I like to say that a book is a key that opens the door to Narnia. Like it's <laughs> this whole world that you never knew existed. But then when I published my book, I started getting interviewed on podcasts. Like there's just all these things that uh, it's the it's the lead domino that just knocked down a bunch of other dominoes. And for me, that started uh, when I published my book. And for a lot of other people, it starts the same way. I've found that a book is something that most people see. It, it represents the impossible. Right. And then when they make the impossible possible by actually writing and publishing it, they start to look around and they say, oh, my gosh, what else is possible that I've been like keeping myself from doing for a long time? And so it's just kind of like we always say it's, it's not about the book. It's about who you become in the process of writing and publishing the book. And I just think that couldn't be more true. 
Fire Nation, a couple things here. Number one, Amazon is made up of buyers. And that is just hammered home to me every single day when I go into my seller's account and I'm like, I just sold 40 journals today. Like, where are these people coming from? Like, it's insane <laughs> to me that I sell so many journals on Amazon, you know, compared to what I sell on my Shopify um, stores for the Mastery and Freedom Journal. Because I just like, where are these people coming from? I'm not sending people to my Amazon store. I'm sending people to my Shopify accounts. But all of my sales are happening on Amazon because that's where the buyers are. It's absolute insanity there. So that's one thing that's true. Number two, back in 2013, one of the first things I did when I learned about podcasting was I wrote a book called Podcast Launch. I wrote it in one weekend. It's a short book. I mean, you know, it's probably like half an inch thick, like if you get the physical copy of it. But I just put it up there. And that thing averages eight sales a day. Now, that is not meant to be a moneymaker. It's like $2 on Amazon right now. Um, but it makes eight sales a day. Now, what does it do? It leads people into my free podcasting course. It leads people to my webinars they do every other week. It leads people into Podcasters Paradise, which now has over 3,500 members itself with over $4 million in revenue. And that was a book I launched in, 20, in 2013, and I literally haven't touched it since. So Fire Nation, it is absolute insanity in a good way. What can happen when you have something out there in the world? Now, Chandler and myself, we do not do this very often, but we are co-hosting an incredible workshop this coming Thursday, January 18th at 12 Pacific, sorry, at 12 Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. And again, this is Thursday, January 18th in 2018. And that's at 12 p.m. EST. If you want to join us, head over to eofire.com slash book. Make sure to register there. If it's past January 18th, no big deal. The replay will be waiting for you there. So head over to eofire.com slash book. If you can make the live, you want to make the live because any questions you have will be answered by Chandler and myself, not to mention the incredible value bombs that will be dropped for show. eofire.com slash book. So Chandler, let's talk real quick. We can't go into all the details and the visuals. We're going to go into the workshop this coming Thursday. But how do you go from blank page to a published author in 90 days? How does that even happen? Yeah, so you break it down into really simple steps. And I'm just a firm believer that something like a book, it's simple, but most people make it complicated. I mean, quite frankly, like, so as someone who is highly ADD, Uh, and who, you know, is a C-level English student, like, I think one of my greatest strengths is taking something complicated, such as a book and making it super simple. So for me, the path is the number one priority that I have for all of our students, for anyone who wants to get a book done, is to get the rough draft finished. That is like, that is the checkpoint, which once you finish that path, or once you, once you pass that, like the, the odds of success go way up. There's some reason, I don't know why it is, but just psychologically, when you finish, finish the draft, for most people, it's like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, yeah. right? It's like, oh man, I can actually do this. So everything that I do is to help people get there. So there's a few things. So I kind of break it down into three steps, which I'm definitely going to go more in depth uh, on these three steps on the webinar. But step number one is the mind map. So you, you, you kind of do a brain dump of everything that you can think of on that topic. Step number two is to turn that mind map into an outline. Uh, and then step number three uh, is to write the book or you can speak it. So for some people, you know, you talked about the misconception of having to be this incredible writer, John. Well, a lot of people, you know, maybe like you, maybe like me is I speak better than I write. So for me, it's a lot easier to speak the book and then edit it than it is to write it from scratch. Cause for some reason, I don't know why it is, but when I try to type something, it's like, the, the, my brain and my fingers on the keyboard are just disconnected. <laughs> and I type stuff and it's like, what, what is that? Like, I can't, I know what I want to say, but I can't totally say it. And so when I speak it, it's just, it, it flows much uh, more freely. And for a lot of other people, I've found that to be the case and it's faster. So there's kind of that choose your own adventure, whether you speak it or you write it. So that's an overview of the three-step process. Uh, and then obviously we'll be going more in depth in that on the workshop, but that's, you know, that is how, I break it down for people to say, okay, you can do that uh, in 90 days for sure. Some people like you, John, uh, I think you, Nick Unsworth, a bunch of other people I've talked to, they're like, hey, I sat down and did it in a weekend. Just knocked it out. Just knocked it out, baby. (laughs) Just just do it. And for other people, they're like, I I don't have that long of an attention span. (laughs) Uh, I need to chip away at it like 30 minutes a day. That's totally cool too. And that's really kind of what we tell people is, hey, commit 30 minutes a day and you'll be done in 90 days. 
Absolutely. And Fire Nation, once more, that's a three-step process. And in one word, I would just say KISS. Keep it super simple. Like, why are we trying to overcomplicate things? It doesn't have to be that way. Number one, mind map. Number two, turn that mind map into an outline. Number three, write or speak the book. That's that's literally it. Like, keep it super simple. My map. My map and outline. Write or speak that gosh darn book and make it happen. We're going into many, many more details, visuals, testimonials, galore, all the things, case studies, you name it. EOFire.com slash book this Thursday, January 18th, 12 p.m. Eastern. Get there. Make it happen. We're going to be back, Chandler. We're going to thank our sponsors, and we got value bombs coming at you, Fire Nation. Building a business is tough work, so tough that we sometimes let important things get pushed to the back burner, like our personal health. If you're like me and ready to make personal health your priority, then you should check out 8Fit. 8Fit turns working out and eating healthy into the easiest thing on your to-do list. First, they have an app that provides short, effective workouts that are perfect for squeezing into any schedule. All it takes is 20 minutes or less, and you don't even have to have equipment, so you can do them at home or on the road. And what about eating healthy? 8Fit has meal plans that are tailored to you and your goals and customized down to the ingredients. The end result, you get a plan that meets your exact nutritional needs. Start building habits for a healthy lifestyle today. Visit www.8fit.com slash fire to claim a special JLD listener discount on an 8Fit Pro membership. That's www.8fit.com. Dot com slash fire. There are a lot of painful tasks that come along with running your own business, like payroll and benefits. Like you, I don't have the time to become an expert in things like taxes and regulations. Good thing there's Gusto, a company that makes payroll, benefits, and HR easy for modern small businesses. Gusto not only saves you time, but they're reliable and they have great service. In fact, four out of five customers actually reduce payroll errors after switching to Gusto, and 72% of customers spend less than five minutes to run payroll. Imagine having that peace of mind when it comes to delivering for your employees. You no longer have to be a big company to get great technology, great benefits, and great service for your team. Right now, Gusto is offering Fire Nation an exclusive limited time deal. Sign up today and you'll get three months free once you run your first payroll. Visit gusto.com slash fire to sign up today. That's gusto.com slash fire. And don't wait. The end of the year is the easiest time to switch payroll providers. So Chandler, we're back and I went into a little bit of a ramble at the beginning about how I've used my book, Podcast Launch, to generate so many gosh darn leads, so many gosh darn sales. And it's been going now for for five years. It's hard to believe, but I mean, I published that in early 2013. Here we are in early 2018. And the book took me a weekend to write. And again, I got an email yesterday, cross my heart, hope to die, Fire Nation. I got an email yesterday, which is January 9th of 2018. And the email said, John, just read your book on Amazon, podcast launch, loved it, thanks for the content, boom. And I was like, whoa. And then I got another email that said, hey, John, love the book, podcast launch, I'll see you on the next live webinar. And I was like, whoa, two emails in one day, one person just thanking me, another person saying thank you, and that he's going to come to one of my live webinars where I give more information about podcasting, where I talk about Podcasters Paradise, which is a paid community. And Fire Nation, this is from a book I wrote in a weekend back in 2013, which by the way, it's, it's a really good book, but it's nothing outstanding. But if you go to Amazon now, which is of course also a search engine, and you type the word podcast, the number one search result in Amazon for books under, pod, on the, under the keyword podcast is podcast launch. It has over 500 five-star reviews and it's been there now for five years. Think about the possibilities, Fire Nation. What do you want to rank for in this world? What keywords, what key topics, what key niches do you want to make happen? So Chandler, you take over here for a second. I just rambled about a book that I use. Maybe you want to give an example or two. I don't care. Take it from here. What do you want to chat about? Oh yeah, that's that's incredible. I mean, just the, the thing that I can't emphasize em- enough and that you just mentioned is you're really creating an asset. So, you know, I, I, one of the big epiphanies that I had just early on. And I was like one of those nerds that would read business books in high school. (laughs) Uh, But I remember reading uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki talks about passive income. 
and how like his, his blueprint was passive income equals real estate. Uh, and that was awesome and really inspiring. But at the same time, it was also discouraging because I didn't have $40,000 to put down on a house <laughs> at like 17 years old. Right. Uh, so I, I just kind of gave up on passive income. But then I realized when I started making what, what I call mailbox money, right? Because you just you walk out to the mailbox and the money shows up. I mean, you don't even have to walk out to the mailbox anymore because uh, of the direct <laughs> deposit. But you, you literally know, ha- just have to <laughs> log into your bank account and see the money. It's like, oh, it just appeared. Thank you. It keeps coming. But yes, yeah, so you, you do that work once, like you said, five years ago, 2013, that mailbox money keeps showing up, keeps showing up. Uh, and you've created an asset. You've created passive income, both through book sales and in your case, through Podcasters Paradise sales, uh, through, you know, any of the other things, like whether they go on to buy a freedom journal, uh, y- you know, there's like so many things that they can purchase and just go deeper with you. And at the same time, uh, I, I like to call a book a silent salesman, right? So as uh, that book is spending, I don't know what, an hour, two hours, four hours with the person. So they're sold on you and what you have to offer before they even start talking to you. So I just think, you know, really can't overemphasize um, the the impact that that has not just on launch week or not just this month or this year, but for years and years to come, you're going to have that asset that's working for you. And think of the branding too, Fire Nation. I mean, there's real branding here. I've now sold over 40,000 journals that people are using every single day around the world. There's the journal with my name on it on their kitchen counter, you know, in their book bag, you know, on their nightstands. Like this is branding. Like this is you becoming a part of like their lives, like their wife, their husband, their, you know, friends are being like, oh, like, what's that? What's that journal? Who's this guy, John Lee Doom? It's like they heard it once, they hear it twice. You know, maybe they Google me. Maybe they check out my podcast then. Like these are the type of things that kind of build up like a wave before they crash onto the shore of awesomeness. And Chandler, I just made that up. So don't (laughs) steal it from me because I literally (laughs) want to like write that down and use it forever. (laughs) Crash on the shores of awesomeness. I love that. So I kind of gave a, re- a couple of wa- a couple ways how books drive sales and leads for your business. I mean, you've built your business to six million in just three years. You know, frankly, using books. Let's talk about some other examples. Maybe clients of yours that have gone through the course, or you know, you personally. Like, what's something that you think maybe our listeners could really resonate with? That's not like a podcasting example. Hundred percent. So. There's, you know, there's all so many examples from all walks of life. A couple of my favorite. Um, number one is a guy named David McKay. Uh, so he runs a photography business. I know a lot of times when people hear examples like this, they're like, oh, well, that's cool for you because you have this fancy online business. How would that actually work for me? Right. Like in brick and mortar. So he has a photography business uh, and he emailed me the other day. He said it was, it's been exactly one year since he uh, published a book through the course. Uh, his books brought in over ten thousand dollars in royalties, so that's cool. Um, but even more importantly, he said there's uh, I think it was like forty five thousand six hundred and fifty five dollars that he directly attributed uh, from like in business revenue that he had directly attributed to people who came to him. But who's counting from right? the book? <laughs> yeah, who's counting? He, <laughs> and then he, my favorite part is he's like, hey, I'm getting thirty to forty leads per week Come on. for my business from that book. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is like he's getting paid to get leads instead of paying to get leads. Like I pay a ton of money every single day, yeah. just as you do, John, to get leads. Like, okay. I, like, I mean, it's like, that's how you grow your business. But imagine like getting paid to get leads. So that's one of my favorite examples. Um, there's so many others, whether it's like, you know, getting one speaking gig off the book and that pays for everything. Right. Or, uh, you know, it's like, there's a bunch of different examples, but I'll give one very practical uh, tip. Um, and we can talk about this more on the on the workshop as well. But one practical tip. So I like to give away an audio book at the beginning of my book. This is the one of the single biggest drivers of leads and of business. That's the one thing that I went and updated, actually. I went back and updated. And this is a beautiful thing about books too, Fire Nation. Think about it. You can go back and update things. You can update links. You can add new language. Not, you know, print books like you're kind of stuck when they're printed like that. But, you know, with Kindles these days and stuff like that and digital books, you can add things in after the fact. So what Chandler is about to, t- about to tell you right now, he told me, I went back in and did this and boom, mind blown. It was like the next day these things started happening. So Chandler, take it away. Yeah. Oh, it was that was the coolest part of seeing all the new leads coming in for you. Um, but kind of the way it works to just simply explain it for people is um, I give away the audiobook in the in the first page of the book. 
So now here's where it gets really cool. Imagine that you're going to Amazon, you click that look inside feature. Look You've inside, probably done baby. this before. And you look at the first couple of pages. Well, guess what happens? Bang, it's on the first page. Uh, and it says, hey, I just want to thank you for checking out the book. Um, here's the audio book for free. Click here. They click, they go over to, web, to my website. Um, they put in their email address and then they get the book uh, for free. So this is so what's really powerful. And so the, you know, some people are probably thinking, oh my gosh, Chandler's an idiot. He doesn't even know that I can get this book for free without <laughs> buying his book. <laughs> people email me. They say, John, by the way, I just want to let you know, like, um, I can get your book for free in the audio book. I, all I have to do is give you my email address. I'm like, I know. Thank you. It's so <laughs> awesome. And it's not just a look inside Fire Nation because a lot of people do this, send me a sample. So when they send you a sample, it's like the first 15% and right. boom, they get it there as well. So, I mean, you you know, without even people having to buy your book, which again, that's not where your real revenue is going to come for a lot of, of what you do. You know, that might be a couple of bucks here, a couple of bucks there. It is the lead that you're able to turn to real revenue down the road for all these different things that we're talking about. So Chandler, bring that one home, brother. Exactly what you said. I mean, um, the, the revenue from the books is nice, but those leads are worth way more than the few dollars that I would have gotten if they would have bought that so book. Exciting. Like, and, and, and so think about the flip. Here's the kind of like the, the spread is like, okay, instead of, pay, instead of paying 7 to $15 for a lead, uh, now I'm getting paid and getting a lead. So we're talking about like a $20, $25 per lead spread. Or at a minimum, if it's a free lead, I'm at least saving 7 to $14 that I would have spent on that lead. And it's a way high qual higher quality lead. And that's what I was going to add to it. It's just a higher quality lead because it's not somebody that's seeing a sponsored ad on Instagram or Facebook and they know it's an ad going in. Mm -hmm. They're just like, oh, okay, here's an ad and I'm going to you know, sign up for this thing, whatever. No, this is like they're getting a book, like real value. Like they're getting to know you and to know, like, and trust you to the next level. And that person is not just, you know, some cold ad traffic. That person's like a warm individual that just, you know, consumed a lot of your content. Is now looking at you as an author or somebody that provided them real significant value. And guess what? I mean, most people, they, they buy your book and truth be told, they don't even want to read it because they have like a million books on their to read list and they would much rather listen to it just like they listen to your podcast, yeah, John, totally. on the way to work or, <laughs> you know, like at the gym or any of those things. And so now they can listen to it, which increases the likelihood that they're going to consume the book as well as, oh, by the way, when they're listening to that book, if you record the audio book yourself, now they're building a relationship with you in a way that they wouldn't even build if they had read the book because now they've heard you talking for hours and it feels like a friend. And so when they check out your podcast, John, it's familiar because they already know you. Or when they, you know, when they check out your webinar, they already know you. So if, especially if we're talking about turning leads into sales, it's just that, that traffic is so warm. Uh, and it's so, it's, it's just really, really qualified leads. Fire Nation, come join Chandler. Come join myself this coming Thursday, January 18th, 2018, at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Again, if you're listening to this after the 18th, still go to the same URL because we will send you the replay and you'll be able to get this great content. But you want to be live if possible because there will be gifts. There will be great opportunities for people that are live to ask us questions, which we will answer. But head over to eofire.com slash book. That's eofire.com slash book. Now, Chandler, I want to kind of bring this home. So give us one final takeaway, kind of maybe really whet our appetites for this coming Thursday, and then we'll say goodbye. Yes, yeah, so I'll leave you with one of my favorite quotes, which is from Zig Ziglar. He says, if you wait for all the lights to turn green before leaving home, you'll never get started on your journey to the top. Now, that's applicable to books because most people wait till all the lights turn green. <laughs> uh, they, they, it's like a book is one of those things that they say, oh, I, maybe someday. They put it on the maybe someday list or next year list, and it's been a New Year's resolution for like five, ten years. Uh, it, if you wait for all the lights to turn green, you're never going to get started. So you have to jump before you're ready. That starts with attending the webinar with John and I. We're going to show you some very practical steps that you can get started so that you can get that thing done in 90 days. Fire Nation, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. You've been hanging out with CB and JLD today, so keep up the heat. And Chandler, I just want to say thank you for sharing your value bombs with Fire Nation today. For that, we salute you, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Yes, sir. Hey, Fire Nation, hope you enjoyed our chat with Chandler today. And 
one final call to action eofire.com slash book join us this thursday january 18th 12 p.m eastern 9 a.m pacific eofire.com slash book i will catch you there or i'll catch you on the flip side eight fit turns working out and eating healthy into the easiest thing on your to-do list start building habits for a healthy lifestyle today visit www.8fit.com slash fire to claim a special JLD listener discount on an 8Fit Pro membership. That's www.the number 8fit.com slash fire.